Hi, this is Rob with Recreation by Design and I had the pleasure to show you today the Navigation 291 DBS. We're going to start off up front here. You can see we got a nice great big logo. This is a metal front end. It is back so you can see it's nice and stiff. Your 30 pound LP bottles are standard with an automatic changeover and regulator. Then up front here we have your power tongue jack with a courtesy light. The navigation comes with a battery box and battery here. On the other side there, the red button, it's also a battery disconnect. So when you go to store your unit, you can disconnect all 12 volt power into the, your unit. So that way it prolongs your RV battery life. On the front here, we also have diamond plate lower metal. So that way you can have uh, your, your stones and stuff, they'll kick off of there and it's not gonna damage anything. Around the front here, one of the neat things I wanna point out is our frames are a 10 inch I-beam frame. We also use fiberglass insulation, R7 fiberglass insulation, and then we put a, a tongue and groove a plywood decking on there. So it's a wide bodied unit. It's 102 inches wide, uh, six inches wider than your normal travel trailer. But the tongue and groove plywood being a two by four floor versus a lot of our competitors are two by three OSB floors. Our sidewall construction is 16 inch on center, two by two hardwood studs. In between there, we cut and hand pack R7 fiberglass insulation as well. And then on the top here, we use 030 metal. An industry standard is an 024 metal. So our units are wider, our floors are thicker, and we use a better quality or, or a thicker metal on the outside. I want to show you that all of our running gear, our lights on the outside are LED running lights. No more halogen bulbs. Uh, we use all LED running lights on the outside. Your, uh, fiber, your pass through storage up here is a one inch insulated door. You can see it goes all the way through to the other side. You have a light up here at the top. And then one of the other neat features is we use magnetic door catches. That way you don't have a plastic catch hanging out that can get cracked or break. It's just a magnetic door catch. Works out really nice for us. Also up here, which is an option for the navigation, is we give you, uh, for the option, uh, power corner jacks that levels off your, uh, your unit here. We're not gonna wait for all those to go down. Uh, we also provide two doors on the Navigation 291 DBS. This one goes into the front bedroom. You're featuring a solid step here. It's an aluminum step that actually folds up into uh, the room. We'll get to the inside. This is a 26 inch entry door here. Uh, in the back, we provide you a 32 inch entry door, which we'll get to in a second. This is your hot water heater. Standard in the Navigation is a 10 gallon DSI direct spark ignition hot water heater. It is both gas and electric. A lot of the competitors out there will use a six gallon uh, gas electric hot water heater standard. You have marine grade speakers on the outside here. This is your furnace. Again, we use a bigger furnace than most. We use a 40,000 BTU floor ducted heat furnace where a lot of our competitors are 34 or 36,000 BTUs. This is the back end of your Everchill uh, refrigerator just a refrigerator vent. Then you have an outside 110 area here. You can plug in a stereo to your, your picnic table or whatever. Uh, your running gear uh, that goes underneath your, your 10 inch I-beam frame is a 5,080 pound uh, axle. Uh, each one of them has their own brake and we're using 15 inch uh, radial tires on those. Uh, this is your main entry door for the Navigation 291 DBS. It's a 32 inch wide entry door. A lot of our competitors are only 26 or 28. Our entry doors are a lot bigger than everybody else's and they're also insulated. We'll get that opened up there. You also have a screen door and then we're also featuring the solid step. When you're done camping, you can take your solid step and just easily lift it right up into the doorway area here and close your door. The other neat thing is we give you a power awning. This is an electric powered awning. 
uh, comes out seven foot, but it also has an LED light strip going all the way down across. So that way the light will illuminate as you're sitting at your camper out away from the camper. Uh, you have another storage area outside here. And again, we have a magnetic door catch, but you have outside storage here that actually goes underneath your bunk in your, uh, in your bedroom area there. So it just provides you more outside storage. Here we have your, your uh, power jacks that are in the rear. They operate separately from the front. You got your tubular steel bumper. Your tubular steel bumper has a 500 pound uh, carrying capacity on it. So you could put a U-bolt on with bike racks uh, or you know, a, a, an outside grill that you could store. This is our potable water fill. So you just stick your regular garden hose in there and you can fill that up. Goes into a 50 gallon uh, fresh water tank. Now let's move on to the other side here. And uh, we're gonna show you, uh, again, everything has LED lights on the outside of your navigation here. Here we have your 50 amp service. We use 50 amp service in our standard. Some of our competitors only use 30 amp service. Up here we have our satellite and cable prep. You got number one for your living room, number two for your bedroom. Down here, we have your city water fill. So you just hook up your garden hose right to the city water fill here, and you'll have uh, city water throughout the coach. Here we have your uh, outside shower. Gives you a six foot shower head and hose, and it gives you hot and cold running water. Over here we have our slide room. If you notice, our slide room sidewalls are a lot sturdier than most. Uh, we have a four seal slide system here. You got an exterior bumper seal or a bulb seal. And then you have a wiper seal and your outside room when it comes in compresses that bulb seal to make a tight fit uh, when you're storing your unit. And then it does everything the same in reverse. You have a bumper seal or a bulb seal on the inside with a wiper seal. What I want to point out to you a lot here is our underneath side. We have our slide room floor. It's a one inch thick floor. It is undercoated on the outside. We have your angle iron here that also covers up all your raw wood edges on your slide floor. That promotes longevity of your slide floor from water penetration. Here we have our, uh, our electric slide. It is a rack and pinion slide. So it comes in and out on these tracks here and it is a through floor slide system. So it actually counterbalances itself with the weight of the floor. Here we have our Max or 8800 series max airflow windows. You notice that our windows open up 50% and they are 80% uh, tinted windows as well. Notice on our graphics on the navigation, we give you a lot of graphics, very bold, very beautiful exterior graphics on the navigation. Moving down here, we have the back side of our slide out room, the same bulb seals that we showed you on the other side. Same max airflow windows. And here you can see our uh, off door side pass through storage with the magnetic clep. Hi, now we're in the inside of the Navigation 291 DBS. And I wanna show you the abundance of storage we have. As you walk in the door, we have a huge pantry here. This is a walk-in pantry with four shelves, two code hooks, one up and down, and it's easy access to all of your circuit breakers. So if you ever had an issue with uh, lights or anything, you come to one spot to get it fixed. Another neat thing is our uh, control center here on the sidewall. You can move your slide outs in and out, your porch light, your water heater, all of your tanks, and you can see if they're full or not, your living room and kitchen lights. And then here you have your digital thermostat which controls your 15,000 BTU rough air with heat strip. This extends your awning out and this runs your, your switches inside your closet here. Now we have 46 by 72 bunks. These are extra large bunks. If you have big kids or you wanna get two kids into one area, you have plenty of room. Have plenty of headroom here. You got LED lights, you got your AC vents here, and then you have a reading light with a USB port at every bunk. You got two windows there, so you have easy access and natural daylight. And then one of our newest features here is a wood ladder that gets up to the top. You have storage down below here 
So you can kick your shoes off in there, store the kids' duffel bags or whatever you want to put in there. Now let's move into the bathroom, which is right next to the kids' room. Inside the bathroom here, you can see that it's a large bathroom. You've got your fiberglass one-piece uh, shower tub combo. Uh, so there's no seam. Some of our competitors use a two-piece plastic where we go to the extra expense and put a one-piece fiberglass in there. It's going to last a lot longer and be a lot more sturdy for bigger people. You also have a foot flush porcelain toilet. Then you have a linen closet inside your bathroom here. It's huge. You've got two shelves up and two shelves below. You've got a towel ring. You actually have a a window in your bathroom that opens up so you get natural light and you can get natural breeze through there as well we have a large bathroom sink with a residential faucet and a, and a medicine cabinet in there and lots of storage underneath the bathroom sink now let's move into the living room area here once your immediate right once you come out of the bathroom you have your entertainment center we have nice big overhead storage here that you can store books DVDs more food whatever you need to there you have your, uh, you can get a 42 inch TV in here. It is back so you can hang a TV off of there. You got all your hookups here for your AV jacks, your cable, your satellite. Then down below here we have a, uh, your residential sound bar. This is a DVD player. It's got a USB port and it also connects directly into the wiring and speakers up here for your TV. We're going to go back down again and we have a fireplace here. So your fireplace will actually kick out 4,500 BTUs of heat. Over here, you're going to have your tri-fold sofa. This will actually fold out into another sleeping area. It's going to be a 54 by 74 bed when it slides out. You have your outside or your inside uh, light switches here. On either side of your seating area, you have more USB ports. So if you or your children are sitting there with your iPhones, you can charge your iPhone as you're sitting there using it. You also back here have a window that actually opens. And again, every window in our kitchen area and actually in the whole camper itself, every window opens so you can get nice cross ventilation. Moving over here, oh, you have a lot of uh, overhead storage as well for additional uh, books or, or whatever you need to put up there. Uh, you get a four uh, place dinette area here. This is a 38 inch dinette. This also folds into a bed so you can get uh, one to two people in there. One of the neat features here is all of our storage underneath. We really focus on uh, providing a lot of storage for our campers and every nook and cranny we can fill with storage, we have storage available to you. Storage is always essential when you're camping. Let's move into the kitchen here. Uh, again, more storage in the kitchen area here, lots of overhead storage uh, for all of your cooking needs and boxes of cereal and such. Uh, you have your stainless steel sinks here, but these are actually magnetic roll-up sink covers. So they're, they're stiff to touch, so you can use them as a drain, or you can easily roll them right up and out of the way and stick them in a drawer if you'd like. And then you have a large stainless steel sink uh, that you can actually get regular house type plates in. We feature a high spout faucet with hot and cold running water. You also have a backsplash here so you don't get your regular wood. This is all wipeable backsplash. Notice how we have an abundance of countertop storage here. And one of the neat features is again, we have storage down below on either side, but we've designed in your own trash can that you can have uh, put your trash in there and slide up out of the way. So you don't have to have open trash in your unit. It's one of our neat features we're designing into every kitchen of the navigation. You also have three drawers here of storage that open up all the way. There are ball bearing drawer glides. You have a pots and pans drawer down there. You have a three burner range top. We put a glass top on it to make it like a countertop. If you're not using it as a countertop and you're going to cook, you can just hoist this away and it acts as a backsplash. And you also have your, your LED lights around each of your knobs. Notice how all of our appliances in here are stainless steel. We upgrade every appliance to stainless steel over a regular black that a lot of our competitors use. Your refrigerator here is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this will run on your battery as well. So it'll, it'll run going down the road. It's a 10.7 Everchill. So you get a lot of storage space. This is your travel lock. 
And you open that up and you can see that you have a lot of storage space in your Everchill refrigerator here. One of the neat things is this thing will cool down within 30 minutes rather than an LP refrigerator taking a little over an hour uh, to get chilled. Now we're in the master bedroom. Let me point out some real neat features about our bedrooms. All of our bedrooms come standard with a 70 by 80 king size bed in our navigation travel trailer product line. Each side of the bed we have a nightstand and within those nightstands you have a drawer for each nightstand and you have a USB port, dual USB port and an outlet there. So if you had a clock radio and your cell phone, however you want to do it, you've got both opportunities on each side. You have a shirt closet up here as well and then you have a lot of overhead storage above your head for books and extra clothes and that sort of thing. We are prepped here for a second air conditioner. Up here in the vent, this is your air conditioner prep area. One of the best things is your upgraded mattress. This is a mat inner spring mattress that is uh, a lot more uh, springy. Is, it's a lot more comfortable than your typical RV mattress. Let me show you the storage that's underneath your king bed here. We have a lot of storage underneath and you'll notice that everything is plywood. We don't use any OSB board even on the bottom side of our bed decks. So you have a lot of storage in here that you can put your extra clothes or extra uh, bed linens and stuff without getting uh, wood shavings and dust and stuff like that on them. So it's been great walking you guys through the Navigation 291 DBS. I appreciate your time and looking at the video. If you need any more information or want to find out where you can buy one, you can contact me, Rob Reed at 574-326-3307 or you can email me at rob, R-O-B as in boy, at rbdrv.com. Thank you for watching the video.